Hey furniture people and pups, this is Taylor with Red Dog Redesign. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I transformed this chest of drawers that I got off of Facebook Marketplace into an emerald green beauty. It definitely needed some work, seeing better days. Um, it had some peeling veneer, this weird sticky stuff in the drawers, and a couple of damaged legs, so we get it all fixed up and cleaned up in today's video. Be sure to stick around until the end to see the transformation. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch today's video. If you are not already subscribed, be sure to do that before you leave today to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my future flips. Let's get started. I got started, of course, by removing all of the hardware. And when I saw this piece on Facebook Marketplace, the first thing I noticed was the Heppel White hardware. I was super excited to see that and I knew that I was gonna be keeping it, just giving it a nice cleanup and a light coat of spray paint to brighten it up. This piece needed a really good cleaning. The first thing I noticed when I saw the photo other than the Heffel White hardware um, was that it just looked like sticky. It definitely had a really thick finish on it, but it just looked like it had been through the ringer over the years. So I knew that I really wanted to give it a good scrubbing. The insides of the drawers and the entire chest of drawers was also clean. Um, and I just used on dish soap and warm water on all of my pieces. That's sort of my go-to to remove all that grease and grime. I think I had to change out this water like five times. I had to fix the dovetail joints on a few of the drawers. On this one in particular, it had completely come apart, so I just got that fixed with some wood glue and clamped it down. Where that veneer was lifting, I ended up peeling that all the way off and I'm gonna be repairing it as well as those damaged legs with some Bondo. This is actually my first time using Bondo. And when I got the, um, the hardener, I've always seen the red tube of hardener. Mine was blue. If someone could tell me if I got the wrong thing or if that's the right thing? I, I don't know. I'm just curious. I mean, it worked well. I'm just, I don't know. I was confused, <laughs> but got that on there, let it dry completely, and then went back in and sanded it down. It did take a few applications to get it into the exact shape I needed it to be, but it hardened up really well and it did the job.
and I'm doing kind of an unconventional thing here. Um, I am using, using an X-Acto knife, which was probably not the best choice, but basically what I'm doing here is I'm trying to shape the two back legs so that they are a similar shape. Um, since a decorative piece on the other side was still there and it was missing from this side, basically I'm just creating more of an organic shape so that the two sides match. I hope that makes sense, but that is what I'm chiseling away at over here. My plan for this dresser um, was to paint most of it and then I wanted to do a natural look on one of the drawers. So basically I'm gonna be painting the entire dresser emerald green and then sanding one of the drawers down to bare wood for kind of a natural element. So now I'm just scuff sanding everything to get it prepared for primer and paint. Today I'm priming with Bin Shellac Base Primer. This is my first time using this primer and I wanted to use it because of this dark, thick, original finish and I really didn't want that coming through my paint. So I just used a shellac base primer as an extra precaution. Now I am going in with my paint. I'm using Bare Paint and Primer, but I got a color match for, I believe a Benjamin Moore color called Forest Green. And it's a really nice deep emerald green color. I was a little worried it was maybe gonna be a little too light, but it ended up drying really nicely and how I wanted. Thank you. 
I'm definitely going to be trying out some different types of paint here in the near future. I want to try out um, Valspar cabinet and furniture paint. Um, just so far I've used the Bare Paint Primer. I have liked it so far, but I really want to try out some others. Looking back on it, um, lesson learned, I definitely would have gotten my primer tinted for a darker color like this. It ended up taking me more paint coats than I wanted to cover up the white primer color. So in the future, I'm definitely gonna get my primer tinted to at least a gray color for a dark color like this so that I don't need as many coats. And the method I'm using is basically just getting all of the paint on the surface quickly with my brush and then coming back in with a foam roller to smooth everything out. I'm giving the hardware a really good cleaning with Barkeeper's Friend. I didn't boil the hardware and I'm sure it would have gotten me an even better clean, but basically all I'm doing is I'm wetting the hardware and then sprinkling some of the Barkeeper's Friend on and scrubbing away with an old toothbrush. And as you can see here, it isn't perfect, but the ones in the container are the old ones, and then the ones on the paper towel are the ones I cleaned with the barkeeper's friend, so definitely made a difference. Now I am top coating after three coats of paint. And the method I use is basically I mix a little bit of my paint in with, this is um, Minwax water-based polycrylic, and then I'm just hand brushing with a foam roller. Um, that's just the best method that I've found so far, works as a good sponge, and I just don't overwork the product, get it on and let it dry. After the hardware was cleaned, I just decided I wanted it a little bit brighter, so I'm giving it one light coat of gold spray paint. I didn't want the hardware to look perfect, but this definitely brightened it up a lot. And I'm lining the top drawer, the one that's natural wood, with this liner. I just thought it added something extra. And despite how easy this looks in the video, this took me about 20 minutes, some cursing. <laughs> but it looks really nice in the end. Sorry I don't show this whole process, but basically what I'm doing here is mixing up some whitewash with white paint and water to whitewash that top drawer before I top coat it so it doesn't yellow.
Let's take a look back at what the dresser looked like before. And what it looks like now. again thank you so much for watching today if you are not subscribed already please go ahead and do that before you leave and i will see you in my next video